Hello everybody and welcome to Steve Knows. This is your weekly update and it has stories that many of us have been waiting for for such a long time. We have new features, new processes, new games, Cambria info and so much more. The Quest 2 giveaway is about to end so please enter down below in the description and there should be another $100 giveaway as well so please check the links down below. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and I mean that seriously, thank you. So enough chin wagging, let's get started. So starting off with the sad news before we get on to the XP Aladocious stuff, there is a huge loss in VR. Luke Ross, or known as Real VR, has been hit with a takedown notice for his series of Rockstar modifications to turn games like GTA V, Red Dead Redemption 2, and the Mafia series into head-tracked VR experiences. Take-Two, the parent company of Rockstar and 2K Games, have slammed the book and filed a copyright claim against Luke. Some folks said this was because of the amount of money that he was making on these modifications, but he did say that this was a copyright claim and not a licensing claim, so the fact that he was getting money via Patreon for his mods doesn't seem to be the problem. And there seems to be lots of confusion around what rules has he broken? Because his work is an external mod, it doesn't contain any of their IP, the mod just simply translates the output of their game into a stereoscopic head-tracked virtual reality experience. And he also made the great point that this modification only serves to help them, such as myself, I bought GTA on PC even though I owned it on console just to enjoy these mods, which results in higher sales for them. Luke doesn't want to fight them, that I suppose would be super expensive. Um, let's just take a moment for some of our favourite virtual reality games. We do still have modifications available though for the non-2K Rockstar experiences like the From Software title Elden Ring that is available via his Patreon as well as others. So I'll link that down below in the description for you. And hopefully other studios don't follow suit here because it's a pro gamer move to allow this. It only helps their brand because they don't have these virtual reality experiences. It helps them reach a larger community. They should really be thanking him. This is so, so sad. But anyway, this is the weekend, this is virtual reality gaming, let's turn this into some good news. And we're starting off with a report talking about Project Cambria and its potential official name. So it, we already know it has an expected price point around $800, which hurts, it really does. I sure hope that if the Quest 2 is only $300, that this can provide an experience that <laughs> warrants nearly double, nearly triple the price. Steve Moser recently found reference to the new headset in source code of the mobile application and it said Pair Meta Quest Pro Right Controller. So could that be its expected name? It would not be that surprising in the slightest. Quest Pro. Hopefully it doesn't cause any confusion as well because the Quest 2 is released and now we have Quest Pro and it's almost like it's the professional version of the generation behind. But I do kind of expect this to be the way they move going forward, not like iPhone where every normal iPhone that they release, a standard one, they release a pro version of it. So we'll have like Quest 3 and then we'll have a Quest Pro 2. So please let me know if you're excited for this device down below in the description. I am personally super pumped. I've wanted a device I can experiment with for productivity and the Quest at the moment, it just does not work. It's not up to par. It's not up to scratch. Whew, I'm melting today. It's so hot in England. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not used to this, the humidity. I'm like, whew. So now the moment that we've been waiting for, the removal of Facebook accounts from our Quest headsets. Meta accounts are rolling out and we'll be replacing the Facebook account. So in August, you will be able to log into your Quest with a new Meta account and it will have a bunch of new changes to the system as well. But before touching on the new changes that we are going to expect, people have been saying, well, this is still an account with Facebook, which I understand, but to me, it's this gaming account for VR and XR. It's not something that can now has to be linked to my personal life. So that kind of in-depth data analysis will not be the same, but I'm sure they'll find ways where they can probably link profiles in the back end. So this to me now follows the format that we see with like a PlayStation account, a Steam account, an Xbox account. So the Oculus profile will be transformed now into a Meta Horizon profile. That's one more bye-bye to an Oculus foundation. And friends will now become followers, which to me just seems a little condescending. They're my friends, but they're now doing the, the same as the Instagram model. It follows Instagram's model. And that is a that's a terrible joke, but it has a few levels to it. So your Meta accounts will have the option as well to link Instagram and Facebook accounts to your profile, which will enable other experiences. I assume things like 
like Messenger, pretty much what they did when they first rolled out the Facebook account. So hopefully the limitations are not going to be the same as before because that sucks. You basically had to link your Facebook account. If you're someone who doesn't care about the Facebook thing, you can make your Meta account based on your Facebook profile for a nice easy quick startup. And this hopefully removes the band problem where if you've been naughty on Facebook and your activity there, it affects your virtual reality experiences. Hopefully we're gonna have that separation of concerns, I hope. So please comment down below if you're enjoying this, but I think it's time for the mid video VR bafflement. That's quite a mouthful. So I'm not gonna talk much about this, but this report popped up. So in Vegas, hotel <laughs> hotels will give you a sanitized VR headset to enjoy adult entertainment. That's gonna be an interesting call to room services, isn't it? Hey, have you got one of those VR headsets? I just wanna watch some, some Netflix and play some games. How long until robot dolls are also included in this for penthouse ballers? This is just mental and a bit. Mm. Save yourself the embarrassment and buy a headset and take it to the hotel yourself. Resolution Games just dropped an update for Demio as well called Doubles, and this is this is a great update. So this released yesterday on the 8th of July. It now allows two of you to control two different players. So you'll still have the four heroes during your game, but you'll now be able to control two of them. So two players, two heroes each. And this changes the dynamic. It will allow you to support your own characters effectively without screaming at your friend on what card to play. You can think a few more steps ahead in what you're planning to do in game as well, which is quite nice. But it could also be used for some remote quality family time, like like father and son, which is the super touching. It'll also make it easier to find a game because you don't need as many heads. And especially since Demio is now flat screen supported, you now have the option to play with loads of your friends as well if they don't have a VR headset. But side note here, there is more to Demio that they're going to be releasing more content coming soon and a potential AR version of the game, which is pretty exciting. So if I said Halo VR, I'm sure a large number of us would be screaming to the rooftops in excitement, but I've got quite the opposite report. Sadness. That showed off a rumored Halo VR experience with lots of concept art and ideas. So Reb Game showed this off on Twitter, and it's a title that resembles Combat Evolved, the first Halo experience, but for virtual reality. So 343 were working on this title back in 2017, apparently, but they scrapped it due to the support for VR. But VR is now way bigger. It's grown so much since 2017. The mechanics have changed so much since 2017. And I think we are ready. We knew of a Halo VR mod actually being created in 2019, someone called Nibre, and he was actually hired by 343. And I'm assuming that that work around VR was kind of why it made him a great candidate for hire. It would be awesome, wouldn't it, to hold your hand out and be able to talk to Cortana. They were also looking at a Spartan jetpack system for traversal and what looks like a potential for driving around a warthog. There's even this page as well that shows some mechanics that sound pretty interesting. The one that caught my eye was the nod. So normally you'd click the stick down to sprint, but in this they're talking about tilting your head forward slightly, which is how you would sprint naturally in real life. You'd push your weight forward because you're gonna be running that way, which the momentum's gonna try and push you backwards. So 343, please make this title. VR is growing, you just dropped a TV show, you've just hired someone who is able to modify your game for virtual reality. It seems like a no brainer. And I'm sure Meta will pay you some big bucks for some exclusivity as well if you wanted some security. I just wanna play Halo in VR, modification or not. A small touch on now showing the potential power of the Oculus Quest if optimization is done correctly and devs take a stylized approach to the game that they're making. So you don't have to make it photorealistic. I often see the best visuals are cell shaded or stylized on Quest. It's Cause often Quest experiences compared to the PC VR version, everything is stripped back. Assets are lacking, textures are flat, the world feels very 2D. And now my dearest, the studio have just boasted that they have managed to put the most virtual fish into a quest experience yet in their virtual environment. And the world looks like it's almost two packs. There's too much going on. This is a dream sequence in their next Kronos installment releasing this summer. And they were able to run a pixel shader 2.3 million times in this environment with 5,000 virtual assets at once whilst maintaining a stable environment in the experience. I do like that devs keep finding these new ways to squeeze juice out of our mobile hardware so that when the next iteration comes out of the tech, a new chipset that is so much better, all of these lessons that we've learned for optimization can be used to create far better visual experiences. And speaking of games taking visuals to the next level, Red Matter 2 gets a release state and this game looks like a PC VR experience from its trailer and the first title on Quest was also jaw dropping at the time. It was one of the closest resemblances to its PC VR counterpart that we had seen for games that had more realistic visuals rather than the stylized approach. 
So on Reddit, they have posted that August 18th, which isn't actually that long away, is going to be the release date of this game. Plenty of time to try the first installment in preparation because it does have quite an interesting storyline. And this is a kind of a continuation, so you might need to catch up or at least read a little blog about it. So Vertical Robots are the devs of this. They need a shout out because of the amazing work they've done. The Red Matter Quest 2 trailer has been playing on screen and everything is super shiny, super detailed. I'd love an interview to find out how they achieved this feat. It's impressive. The sequel sequel also seems to look more action packed than the first. I see lots of shooting, which is quite exciting because the first one was a more slower paced mystery what's going on puzzle solving title. But the trailer that you see is a Quest 2 emulation on PC. So it is Quest gameplay, kinda. So I do expect some drawbacks and our screen captures native on Quest not to look as good when the game drops. But we shall see because either way, this is still impressive. And the first one was impressive and they've built upon that. So that's it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for coming to get caught up on the weekly news. Please join the giveaways down below in the description. Subscribe to the channel. Help me on that road to the 100k dream. Have a great weekend. Happy gaming, guys. Good day!